your wife up there? Eh? That's your wife up there, yes. I'm, I'm a little concerned. Why Imagine how boring I would be if I married somebody who was boring, you know? Good morning. It's Easter. I love this day. Are you guys excited to sing this morning? Yes. And let's see, you're probably, see, let's see if I can guess this song. Are you singing Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer? No! Oh, that's a Christmas song. Oh, that's a Christmas song. I get the wrong holiday. <laughs> what song are you singing? Happy Day. I'm a little bit nervous this morning. I'm getting ready to preach. I'm gonna try something that I've never done before. <laughs> yeah, I've been sitting all week in John chapter 19 and John chapter 20, just, just kind of sitting in it. And, and Friday night I preached on John chapter 19, and, and this morning I'm gonna share from John chapter 20. But as I've been sitting in the story, I thought, you know, I think I just need to let the story tell itself. So that's kind of what I'm gonna to try to do today. Totally different thing than I've ever done before in preaching. I don't know, this might flop. We'll see how it goes. Jesus. Then his eyes connect with hers again. And he says, Mary. As soon as she heard that, the hair on her arms stood up, the hair on the back of her neck stood up. Those were the same eyes that she saw when she was delivered. That was the same voice calling out her name. The resurrection is true. And every sacrifice we make is worth it. Only the resurrection is true. Father, thank you so much. We've got this hope. We've got a future. We've got the power of the resurrection living. Oh, it's gonna lick it. Were you nervous? Yeah. What made you nervous? There's a bunch of people there today, huh? You did a great job. Man, I used to go for walks on the street all the time. At least once or twice a day. I haven't gone for a walk on the street like this though in in months kidnapping issues here right now it's just not very safe probably shouldn't be doing it right now but it was a good sunday though it's a really great sunday love you with everybody I'm ready for a nap just told becca i'm gonna put that video of her dancing in a vlog well at this point they've already seen it so. <laughs> it was all for the kids you did great <laughs> Did you find anything yet? I found me game. Oh wow, that's great. Mama, did you find anything yet? No. None. Yeah. Mine? Did you get one? Oh gosh, it's just on 11. Uh yeah, I found two eggs. Yeah. Find anything yet? Is there any in here? Oh boy, there you go. No, it's not in there! I just checked in the garbage the trash. I think if you found eggs in the trash, you might want to just leave them there. <laughs> oh my oh, 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 god! Oh, 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 o
sauce. Yeah. Um, How do you feel like it went? A bunch of people here. How many yeah. people did we have? Oh. Mm -hmm. 12, not including us. Okay. Yeah. I feel like it went good? I do, I think. It's, it's always good to get everybody together. And For some reason, the resurrection feels a little bit different this year. Um, when you understand that Jesus has been resurrected from the dead, when you understand that God himself had a decisive victory, dealt a decisive blow to death, the one thing that no matter what we do, we can't avoid. It changes everything. It changes the way you look at your life. It changes the way you look at the world. It changes the way you look at the question of risk. You know, a lot of people right now don't understand why would we go to a country like this that is in such tough shape, especially right now as Haiti is literally falling apart. Why would I bring my family here? Why would I do that? Because Jesus Christ is raised from the dead. And everything else is changed now. I love you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Even when our hearts are breaking. Even when our souls are shaking. Oh, oh, oh we've got this. Oh, oh, oh.